hi guys welcome to my youtube channel and in today's video i'll be showing you how to make a slip dress if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do and don't forget to like and comment keep watching yeah. so i'll go ahead to create a starting line which i'll be marking like so so the next step is to you know take the measurement of the neck width and the neck depth so for my neck depth i'll be taking 2.5 inches and my neck width will be 3 inches so i'll just be using the curve to connect those points together after that i'll be marking out my shoulder measurement which is 7 inches and i'll be going down by 1 inches to create the shoulder slope and I'll be connecting the points together. After that, I'll be marking out my ammo measurement, which is seven inches, and I'll connect the points. To get my bust points, I'll be going down by nine inches. For my under bust, I'll be going down by 12 inches. To get my waist, I'll be going down by 16 inches and I'll be connecting the points together. So I'll just go ahead to connect those lines to the end. From the waistline, I'll be going down by 9 inches to get my hip and I'll be marking the points. So I'll be using my ruler to connect those points together. I'll be using my marker to label each line so you understand it a lot better. From the shoulder, I'll be going down by 5 inches which is where I want to create my style line and I'll be connecting the points together at my ammo I'll be going in by 3.5 inches and at the shoulder to the shoulder tip I'll be dividing it into two and marking the points like so I'll be using broken lines to connect the points and now that I've done that, I've gone ahead to mark out the point where I want to draw out my style line. So from the center front, I'll be connecting that point to the center front. So I'll go ahead to take my bust measurement, which is 8.5 inches, and I'll be marking the point like so. So now that I've gone ahead to do that, I'll be going down by 0 0.5 inches. And that is where my arm will start. So now I can connect those points together like so. So as you can see, I'm using my curved rule. So creating this timeline actually depends on you. You can go lower, you can go higher. It definitely depends on you. So now I've gone ahead to create that point. So I'll be going ahead to mark out my waist measurement, which is 6.5 inches. And I'll connect the points together. I'll also be marking my hip measurement which is 9 3 quarter and also connecting the points. I'll be using my curve drill for this part. So try not to make it too curvy but then it should be. So now that I've done that I'll just be drawing the line down as well like this so you can see. Now I'll just be creating my seam allowance so I'll go ahead to add 2 inches on the side seam and I'll be connecting the points equally. So I noticed I skipped the design I wanted to do at the underboss which I'm just going to be doing like so. So now I've gone ahead to go in by 3.5 inches as well and I'm just going to show you. So I'll just be connecting this point together and that's all. So I'll be using my curve driller as well to connect these points together. And take note this is from the boss point. And here we have it. So I'll be cutting through from there. So in case you don't want to cut it like so, you can actually leave it like that because it's already a style. And see here are the cups and this is how it should look like once you're done so i'll just go ahead and cut out the skirt 
so kindly take note that i haven't cut out the full length of the skirt because the pattern paper is actually small so i'll be doing that on fabric so i'll be showing you the length i'll be using once i cut it on fabric for the cup i want to add gathers to it so from the center front i'll be going in by three inches so i'll be marking that point together and drawing out the line so ensure it's a straight line and right from that side from that side seam part i'll be going in by two inches and i'll be marking the points so i want to create like fullness on the cup that is why i want to add gathers to it so i just want to show you how i'll be doing it and i'll be using the slash spread method to do this and if you don't want that you can just leave the cup like this now that i've connected those lines i'll be you know this is two three quarter and so i'll be dividing it by three so now i've gone ahead to mark out the points and i'll be doing that at the top as well so i'll be connecting those lines like this and now i'll be using my scissors to you know cut this out so these are four lines so i'll just be using it so i'm not just going to cut the, the stuff totally so i'm just going to stop right at the tip and not cut it through so now i'll get a paper you know to place on top of it but before that i'll be marking out like three inches you know and connecting the point so that the cup will stay and be placed properly so now that i've done that i'll be using my tape to you know place it there and now i'll be going ahead to mark out 0 0.5 inches on the slashed part so try to be careful not to you know tear the paper and i'll be marking 0 0.5 inches on each spread i take so now that i've done that i'll just be using my tape to hold it down and i'll be doing that for the rest as well i'm going ahead to cut it you can actually use a pencil to trace this out before you cut it out so now that i've done that you can see how it looks the cup is not so wide but it's going to give me the kind of effect i want at the bust area so in my next video i'll be showing you how to draft the back and see you in my next video and don't forget to subscribe and like my video bye